There seems to be a lot of debate online as to whether or not it's worth it to port these plastic intake manifolds. Now this was the worst one on my intake. That's definitely not helping airflow. We can make some improvements here for sure. Now this was not near as bad, but there's still a little mismatch going on at that parting line that I think we can improve upon. If you take a close look at the top of the port here, you can usually see the impression of where the cylinder head mates up to the intake manifold. There's some extra material there that can be removed. As long as we don't make the intake port larger than the port in the head, we should be good. We can also remove quite a bit off of that injector boss as well. Here I've outlined the material that I'm going to remove with some yellow paint just to serve as a guide. I didn't do any porting to the throttle body opening on my manifold. It's a little dirty in there right now, but it's actually pretty smooth. And the opening is almost 85 millimeters. I'm going with an 84 millimeter throttle body. So as long as the intake manifold opening is larger than the exit of my throttle body, there's really no restriction. I don't see any gains to opening this up unless you're going with an 85 millimeter or larger throttle body. Here are the tools I used for this job. Now this Fordham is actually a lot more than you need for this. This is something we've had for years and we've used it for porting uh, aluminum cylinder heads and manifolds and cast iron as well. Uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of porting, highly recommend this, it's a great tool. It's got a forward and reverse, it's got a foot pedal and it's variable speed. But in the end, I mainly just used it for a final finish. It's got a lot more torque than your Dremel tools, but with some Scotch-Brite, on this mandrel. I'm sure you can buy stuff that threads on there, but I just had this, was able to tape it on there. Um, like I said, I would do the red and then the gray for final finish. And uh, this is a Craftsman version of a Dremel tool with a flexible shaft. Uh, you can use a regular Dremel tool and their flexible shaft. I've got one of those as well. But I think the sand and drums is probably the best way to go on these plastic manifolds. I bought this whole kit on Amazon, came with a, a bunch of mandrels and everywhere from, I think, 80 grit all the way to 600. You could probably do this whole thing with, so start out with 320 to remove your material and end up with your final finish before the scotch brite of the 600. And you got different sizes to get down in the, the corners and everything. But that's it, that worked really good. But as I say, this, you could do the whole job with your Dremel tool and a flexible shaft. I also used my shop vac with the hose inserted into the throttle body opening to help pull out the plastic shavings during the porting process. This is where we're at. Uh, some, after going some 600 grit. And it feels pretty good. I know that don't look the best, but it's, it's fairly smooth, but I'm gonna clean that up with some scotch right now for the final finish. I've got my vacuum in there, so that sucks all the, the little plastic shavings out as you're doing it, so it don't build up in there. Looks pretty good. Okay, there's after the 600 grit, uh, no, that's 400, I think. The red scotch brush. So it's quite, it's smoothed it up quite a bit. And I'll go back with the gray, do the gray last. Let me slick. Okay, here is the finish after the gray scotch brush. It's Pretty slick. Like I said, I've, there's no parting line there anymore. Uh, this little mount has been taken down quite a bit. And this opened up slightly. This, that's a uh, gray scotch bar gets a pretty smooth finish.
You will, of course, want to thoroughly clean your intake manifold after you've finished with the porting process. If you intend to tackle this job yourself, be prepared. It is rather time intensive. It's not hard or difficult. Anyone can do it, but it does take a lot of time. That's the main reason that this job costs so much to have done, because of the amount of labor involved to do it, not the big gains you get from it. With that being said, as we've seen from my manifold, there is some room for improvement in these plastic intakes. It may be subtle, it may not be much, but it's still an improvement nonetheless.